British Foreign Secretary William Hague has confirmed it is likely that a British hostage has been killed, along with six other foreign nationals being held in northern Nigeria by the Islamist militant organization Ansaru. Good afternoon. Well, it's with great sadness that I have to inform you that we believe a British construction worker, Brendan Vaughan, who was taken hostage on the 16th of February in northern Nigeria and has been held hostage since then, is likely to have been killed by his captors, along with six other foreign nationals who were taken hostage at the same time. This is an unforgivable act of pure, cold-blooded murder, for which there can be no excuse or justification. Nigeria-based Islamist group Ansaru had recently said in a written statement it killed seven foreign hostages it seized from a Lebanese construction company in Nigeria. This is just the latest incident in a slew of kidnappings in the West African region by interconnected militant groups. Last month, a French family of seven was kidnapped in neighboring Cameroon, and foreigners have been held hostage in Mali as well as those held hostage at the Algerian gas plant. The organizations taking Western hostages use the income gained from the ransoms to fund their extremist organizations throughout the region. Although unusually for this case, Ansaro did not make any demands for the seven foreigners it killed, instead saying they were kidnapped as retribution for the Mali conflict. Ansaru is affiliated with the larger Nigerian militant organization Boko Haram, as well as with Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb, the main militant group currently fighting the French intervention in Mali. The main shared goal between the related organizations is the implementation of strict Sharia law and Islamic rule.